This is one of my absolute favorite books. I've talked about it before on Facebook Lives. I've done different videos about it. This is one of my absolute favorites. And let me tell you why. Um, it is the story about community and it's a story about bullying and it's a story about how to get along with others and also it's a story about you making choices and how you you treat other people can really paint the world around you um, before I start reading it I want to flip to the back and show you that there are two different awards to this book so which is unique right in the United States we usually put the awards on the front sometimes I do that too um, one of these awards that this book won was the Lisa de Honor for IBI, the International Book um, um, Book Organization for, for Young People. IBI, it, and, it, and it was on the, the honorable list. So this is an international award recognizing this book for its excellence. And as you'll see, it should be. The other award it was given was the um, Cámara de Chilena del Libro. So the um, basically the organization in Chile that, that recognizes high quality literature that was given in 2011 when this book was published. So this is an award winning book um, and it is an incredible book. So let's take a look about why. So Errase Una Vez, if you don't know, it's another way of saying Había Una Vez or Once Upon a Time. And it's um, Once Upon a Time in a Space. And so this idea of space is really important. Um, it's written by Marta Carrasco. And it's about El Señor Azul y El Señor Amarillo. So I'm going to read the first lines for you and then I'm going to, the first pages for you and then I'm actually just going to close my mouth and walk and walk you through the other pages. Llegó a este espacio un hombre y dibujó un línea alrededor del sitio que se hallaba. Entonces otro hombre llegó muy deprisa y delimitó a su sitio propio. So both these people came along, men came along, and they drew their lines. And let's see what happens once they draw their lines. See the little chuchon he has on his head. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> Look at that, that globo rojo. Mira, look what it does. Mm. <laughs> and the story ends with this. Aquí hay un espacio. ¿A quién piensas invitar tú para que juntos lo comparten y lo llenen cada uno con sus colores? So here's the space for you. Who do you think about inviting into your space so that together you can share and fill each each one of you can fill it with your colorful with your colors and so this in the end is an activity that I used to do with my classroom this book I would read at the beginning of the school year and we would fill it with our colors we would also probably read in about March when we were all about ready to like we forgot all the rules and everything like that so we could remind ourselves that it's the choices we make every day and how we interact with others um, to really make our space what it is um, so thank you I hope that you open a book and open yourself up to another world